Hi, I'm Grandpa Gary and I just got here and it had been raining and I haven't been able to fly and then I got crazy busy today but I made it out here as you can tell in the background it is it is dark and there's a lot of clouds so it is really super dark and uh, I'm missing out I've seen some of my buddies out on the in the neighborhood but I got out here I got the Mamba 10 I got the lights on man you can see it really shining on me and uh, I just love this airplane I already had it in the air I have some, uh, I got these little batteries somebody sent to me to try out. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's probably all backwards, isn't it? Anyways, it's a Saipom 1300. And I was able to fly with a 1300. I was able to fly the Mamba 10 for a good two minutes. And uh, they were perfect at 3.8 after two minutes. But we got a uh, 3300 in there today, so we should be able to get it up in the air for a good four or five minutes with no problem. And uh, let's get this thing in the air and see how it goes. I see lots of people on. I do appreciate it, guys. I love the support. I love flying. It's just been, man, I tell you, this year has been one crazy year so far. And uh, not that I'm not happy with the stuff that's been going on, but my goodness i haven't got as much flying done as i like all right i got um the motor lockout turned off so it's all ready to go i'm in high rates let's do it we do have a little bit of wind coming from the lamp post over there and like i said i am flying now on an hrb 3300 This airplane is just amazing, especially with what I put through it so far with all the crashes and I've had it in an inverted flat spin and killed it. <laughs> it just it landed flat on its top and uh, I've been able to glue it back together so far and it's doing pretty good. There you go, nice knife edge. It's just so much fun. Bring it down here. I did a bunch of touch and goes earlier when I was flying the 1300. I love these lights. The guy that sold it to me had put these on there. And uh, man, I just love them. They really make it so you can get out here when it's dark and still get your flying done. And uh, if you're real good at that kind of thing, it can really be advantageous to have some lights on your, your airplane. I don't suggest trying this as a, a beginner pilot. But if you're going to do it, you want to have an airplane that's really lit up. But it can be tricky on the landings if you don't have parking lot light like I do that's lighting up the ground pretty good. This airplane, it does, it does tax on the batteries quite a bit. That's why it's so impressive that I was able to do two minutes with the 1300. Because... With the 2200s, if you got anything less than the 50C, you're lucky to get two and a half minutes. Uh, and these 1300s are 50C batteries, and they're definitely... <laughs> so I kicked it up a notch because it looked like it was getting awful low coming out of that uh, dive. A little juice to help it on through there. Oh, I'm getting a little risky. I better stop doing that. We'll roll this one over. 
And one thing is I can't see them rocks down there, so got to stay clear of those for sure. And this airplane, if I do it right, it'll do the outside loop or inverted loop or whatever you want to call it. So let's get it inverted. If you guys can tell, that's inverted. And there it is. We'll roll out of it. I do have my timer set for four minutes and uh, I will fly it hard until I get to the four minutes because this battery can do more than four minutes. Take it up into the stall, push the tail over. Carry a little speed, it's a lot easier to do that knife edge. The wind feels like it has picked up a little bit. And this 3300 definitely handles the punch a lot better than uh, the lower C rating batteries that I've used. And my four minute timer just told me it's time to land, but I'm not quite ready. I love the lights on this thing. It makes it so easy to see. I'll bring it around one more time and then we'll bring it in for a landing. I used to, a long time ago, I used to practice bringing airplanes in inverted and then rolling them at the last second. I haven't done that in a long time, so let's try it. All right. Maybe not. It's squarely all of a sudden and going way too fast. So I would bring it around like this and then just roll it over and land it, but I don't know. I didn't feel comfortable, so let's take it around one more time for the landing. And then I'm actually going to fly the other 1300 that I got here in two minutes so that I can give them an honest review on the uh, Amazons. But there, that's the Mamba Mamba 10 running it with my IX-12 with an HRB 3300. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's either a 50 or 60C battery rating. Really awesome. Really had a good time, guys. I appreciate all your guys' support. Hope you guys liked the video like the way I fly the Mamba just out having a good time with my RC airplanes trying to get out here every day soon there's going to be the maiden flight of my new 80 millimeter e-flight f16 it has arrived I haven't put it together yet so we're going to get that done and get it going man did the Kevin Trappin donate some money man I you guys are awesome I appreciate all the support everybody is just i can't believe it sometimes how much you guys how good everybody treats me and uh i just i'm just having a good time and if you guys like these videos and you haven't done it yet please subscribe hit that notification bell don't forget to give me that thumbs up and leave great comments and until next time i'm grandpa gary and i just got here